Hey everybody, Samantha here, back with another video. Today's video is going to be really fun. I'm going to be going to the grocery store and picking out some new foods for Spyro to try. Now I'm going to be picking out a lot of foods that he's never had before, so it'll be interesting to see how he reacts to everything. But I'm also going to be picking out some foods that he has had in the past and some that I know are his favorites so that I can kind of mix everything in to see how he likes things individually versus mixed in with some of his other favorite foods. All right, well, I'm very excited to see how Spyro reacts to everything. So let's get right to the grocery store and pick out some foods for him to try. All right, guys, well, I am currently in the Wegmans parking lot and we are going to go pick out some new foods for Spyro to try. So this should be a lot of fun. Although I am feeling kind of weird about this just because I've never filmed in such a public space before, so we will see how this goes. Alright, well let's go pick out our new foods for Spyro to try. Okay guys, so I'm currently headed towards the greens. I have already picked out some good fruits for him to try. Um, fruits, they are a good treat for bearded dragons. You can't really give it to them that often, but Spyro seems to really enjoy it a couple of times a month. So I figure he hasn't had any yet this month, so I figure I'll get him some good fruits for him to try. But now I'm over by the greens and I'm going to pick him out some nice stuff. what my car is looking like right now. I picked him out some blackberries, some raspberries, as well as strawberries for a treat. And then I am going to try some cilantro with him. He's actually never had this before, so I'm excited to see how he'll react. So right now, this is what my cart is looking like. I got him some of his usual staple greens, as well as some things that he has never tried before. I'm excited to see if he likes banana. I know this is an occasional treat thing, but I wonder if he's going to enjoy that or not. As well as I got cilantro, parsley, I got dandelion greens and escarole, which those two I know he likes. I'm going to try to find some basil and I also got an acorn squash. I know he loves butternut squash so I'm excited to see if he also loves the acorn. Alright, well I'm going to go try and find some basil and then I think I am all set. If I find anything else I will definitely let you guys know. I have found some basil and it's actually in a pot and it says it was organically grown. So I'm definitely going to pick some of that up to see if he likes it and if he doesn't like it of course I can also use it. Alright guys well I have made it out of the grocery store and I'm back in the car. It was a lot less weird than I thought it was going to be. A couple of people asked me what I was doing but overall it went really well and I got Spyro a lot of awesome stuff to try. So I'm about to head home and then I will film myself getting everything prepared and then we'll let him try everything and see how he likes it. Alright guys, so I'm back home and this is everything that I've gotten from Wegmans. I got a lot of really awesome stuff for Spyro to try out. So like I said while I was in the car, some of this stuff he has had before. Like the strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries he's had before. He just doesn't get those too often. The acorn squash he has had before, but it has been a long time since he has had it. As well as the cucumber back there. He has had cucumber. That's one of his favorite things to eat. It's really good for hydration. He has never had banana before, so I'm really excited to see how he's going to react to that. And he's never had basil, cilantro, or parsley before. 
I have a feeling he's really going to like the basil being how fragrant it is. He really loves arugula and mustard greens, so he likes a lot of stuff that has really pungent smells. And then I also got him some staples. I got him dandelion greens as well as escarole. So those are again two of his favorite meals. So I'm hoping to mix a lot of these together and see how he likes it. But I'm also going to be giving him everything individually as well to see what his favorites are. Alright, well I'm going to chop everything up and rinse everything off and then we will have him try everything. Alright guys, so I've put the escarole as well as the dandelion greens inside of these sealable containers just to keep them good for a little bit longer. Plus they're already chopped and prepared. These really were the only ones that I was actually going to be preparing. The rest of the stuff I'm just going to get ready once I put his salad together. But this is a nice way to help keep it so your greens last a little bit longer. I like putting some paper towel on the bottom of the containers as well as the top before I close them just to keep some of the moisture away so that they last a bit longer. Alright, well let's go get his salad put together. The cilantro as well as the parsley and basil are all rinsed. The last thing I have to do is prepare this acorn squash, so I'm going to do that as well as the banana and the other fruits that I've gotten for him. And then we can put his salad together and see how he enjoys everything.
Everybody, that is everything for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed getting to see Spyro eat some new foods. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you guys have any suggestions about anything else that Spyro here could try, definitely let me know down in the comments. Also, let me know if you guys have any suggestions for a future video. Alright, well if you guys would like to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, it's Callie's Creatures. I post very frequent updates about all of my animals on there. Alright, well both me and Spyro hope you all have a beautiful day and I will see you all in another video soon.